EC2 is the foundation of almost every service on AWS, so it's really important to understand what it means and how you can work with it. AWS is all about renting things, renting systems, machines, processes, anything that allows you to easily run your applications on the cloud. The most fundamental thing you can rent from AWS is an EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. So two C's in there, EC2. And while the name sounds pretty intimidating, an EC2 is just a computer that Amazon owns available for you to rent. It's a machine in the Amazon cloud that you can use to run your code or run processes, whatever you want. But let's break down the acronym. EC2, where the E stands for elastic. Elastic means it's not permanent. You can request to rent more computers as you need them or just use one for your application. You can also configure your machine to exactly the right specs you need for your use case. This makes the machine elastic, flexible. You don't have to go to Best Buy to buy a machine and then get stuck with the initial specs you picked forever. You can just change the specs of whatever machine your code is running on whenever you want. Then you have the first C, compute. An EC2 is a machine that can compute things. It's a computer. You can compute things with it. Then you have the last C, cloud. It's a machine that lives in the cloud, specifically the Amazon cloud. That's because Amazon owns the computer. So altogether, an EC2 is a computer that lives in the cloud where you can configure its specs and how many you need at a given time to run your code. It's elastic because you can change that computer whenever you want. You can change how many of them you use for your code, as well as what the specs of that computer are. It can compute things and it lives in the Amazon cloud. That's an EC2. And you can rent one right on their website. You just Google AWS, go to their website, log in, search EC2 in the services section, and there you are. You're in the right place to rent an EC2. In the next video, we'll go through this console, how to use it, how to create an EC2. But before that, it's important to understand what an EC2 means in the context of AWS. Everything on AWS is about renting resources that help you run your applications in the cloud. These services often require a computer, a machine in the cloud. They require the resource of an EC2. The difference between an EC2 and these other services is that the specifications of the EC2 are often abstracted out. If you're using Lambda, Fargate, or DynamoDB, you don't have to worry about the underlying EC2s it's using, even though it's built off of EC2s. Each AWS service adds its own set of layers. These are rules, constrictions, assumptions, so that it's easier for you to use for your use case. You wouldn't want to build an EC2 every time you want to run something on the cloud because they require a lot of setup. It's literally just a machine with almost nothing on it. Maybe you want a database or something for your logs. You probably shouldn't create a custom EC2 for this functionality. Instead, you should look at some of the other services within Amazon to see if any of them fit your needs. An EC2 is the most bare bones thing you can rent from Amazon. This allows you to do a lot of customization, but it also comes with a lot of maintenance. This is why a lot of companies are switching from running their code directly on EC2s to using the other services within AWS. We'll see this more later on as we look at the other services, but there's not just one way to run your code in AWS. There are lots of options. An EC2 is just one option. It's an option that requires the most amount of work to get your code on there, get your dependencies on there, get your configurations just right, but it also provides you the most flexibility or the most customization. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy coding.